Welcome to Eternal Manna, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are in a new week of uh, looking into God's Word. And again, our eyes turn to Psalm 55. And we are looking at point number seven, David's assurance. And today, as we continue to look at David's assurance, we go back to verse 22 where David says, he will never let the righteous fall. God will never let the righteous fall and remain in that fallen condition. And we read in the Old Testament that a righteous man may fall seven times, but he will always get up and continue to walk. So these are words of security that the Lord encircles us and he holds us by his hand and he will never let us have a fall from which we never recuperate. Yes, there are times we stumble and there are times we might even fall, but we will always get up and we will keep walking because our God stands by our side. And uh, then David says the words of uh, assurance in verse 23 that God will destroy the wicked. Let me read the verse to you. But you, O God, will bring down the wicked into the pit of corruption Bloodthirsty and deceitful men will not live out half their days. Again, words of assurance in the heat of battle. And uh, David is saying that uh, God takes responsibility to uh, bring down the wicked into the pit. In other words, the future and the destiny uh, of the wicked are determined by God. God takes responsibility to knock them out, to wipe them out, so that the evil that they seek to do will not come to pass. And David says that these bloodthirsty men will not live out half their days. In other words, they will die prematurely. And uh, if you look at this uh, particular incident in David's life, that's exactly what happened to Absalom. Absalom died as a young man. He did not live out his full life. He died prematurely without really fulfilling his purpose and how much David wept over Absalom's death. A man who died without fulfilling his purpose in life, without being totally surrendered to God. And so we grieve such deaths, but they do occur. And we don't know all the reasons. We don't fully understand. But for you and for me today, what can we learn from that? That uh, all the days of our life here on earth are written in God's book. And uh, it's not the duration of our life that's important. It's the donation of life, isn't it? We have quoted that many times. What contribution have we made to God's kingdom? And that's the question we need to ask every single day. Each day is a gift given to us by God to be lived out for his glory. Yes, we have to go to work. Yes, we have to earn a living. Yes, we have to take care of our family. All that is part of God's will, plan and purpose for our life. But over and above all that, we need to ask the question, what else should I be doing to further God's kingdom here on earth? 
at the end of each day, I should be both fulfilled and fruitful. Those are two words I use for myself. I must be fulfilled and fruitful for the Lord. So may God give us grace to live out our life for the honor and glory of our God. But being fruitful, productive in God's work, whatever the Lord has called you to do, it may be some menial task, but in God's eyes, it's very important. And we must make sure that we are fulfilling our calling by being humble before God and receiving his wisdom and appropriating his power. Amen.